And we're back here at the third quarterfinal match of the 2015 Sonora Open. I'm Laura McCormick, and joining me again on the mic is Jaime Martel. Thanks Jaime. for joining me. Yes, thank you for joining me. And so our next match is going to feature some pretty excellent players, as always here at the WRT. But we have number one seeded and number one ranked Polo Gutierrez against number nine Christian Longoria. And there's something special here about this match. I think one of the things to note about Christian Longoria is he's only 16 years old. He's the current under 16 uh, champion. And he just plays with no fear. He's taken out some pretty big players before. We saw him in the semifinals at the 2014 Monterey Open, which Polo actually ended up winning. So this should be a really exciting match here um, as we have these two native Mexicans playing here at uh, the 2015 Sonora Open. We're gonna take it down to the court. These guys are ready to go. We're gonna go ahead and kick off zero, our zero, quarterfinal zero. match here at the 2015 Sonora Open, Polo Gutierrez and Christian Longoria. Oh. That'll be a second serve for Polo. We have Alex Cardona as our referee after he was defeated by Andre Perea in the previous quarterfinal here this morning. I'd like to thank everyone for joining us and watching us at home. And as always, we love to hear your feedback, so hit us up on Facebook at facebook.com backslash World Racquetball. Oh. Who do you think is going to win this third quarter final here this morning? The young in Longoria or Polo Gutierrez? And another side out here. Score is still 0-0 in game one. Going to be an interesting match. Maybe we can see uh, another junior upset. <laughs> yeah, another big upset here today. Nice shot by Polo. I think that's one of the things that's so special about Longoria is he's kind of like a oh, wild card when he comes to the events. You just <laughs> don't really know what to expect <laughs> from him. Side out for Longoria. He's going to the drive serve. Zero, sirve dos. Zero, zero, two. Longoria playing pretty defensively here in this rally. A nice pass from Polo. Polo looking pretty comfortable there in the back of the Dos court. Zero. Still at 2 0. Short serve. An agreement over that. Well, once the replay. Cardona going to talk to him a little bit about it. Thinking it was no good, Longoria's shot, or? It's like we're going to hold here with Longoria oh. serving. Oh, it's good serve by Christian. There's an ace for Longoria. Uno, dos. Eric Sandoval. I think it's the best shot of. Longoria, he serves. Oh, another ace Dos serve. Dos. Two in a row. No. Screen serve. Second serve. Cambio. Polo answers back there. Arbitro, David Estor. Dos sirve dos. Another great shot, Polo. That's two in a row for Polo. He's going to make it four serving two. And Polo, as usual, pretty well matched out there. He's got his purple sponsor on his back with his purple shorts. Oh, yeah. Always he always got a, a, a great outfit. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty cool retro shirt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cambio. 
speaking of retro, I think we saw Crazy Nike bringing back some retro racquetball sneakers from the 70s. They're featured in GQ magazine. Andres Carrillo, Eric Sandoval. Fuller is totally in control of his match. <laughs> Four <laughs> points in a row. <laughs> Keep ball. Christian's a little frustrated. And Polo, too. <laughs> yeah, now why would Polo be frustrated? <laughs> now that's a seven point run right here for, for Polo. I I wonder what's going through Longoria's head. Yeah. What what would you do now as a player yourself, Jaime? Well, I really think that Christian needs a timeout to refocus on his match. Paul is totally in control to to this first set. Maybe Christian need to time out and think about it. Nice shot, Christian. Looks like he gets that side out. Christian with a dry serve. Looks like we get a second serve. Going for the reverse. Nice shot by Paulo. And an ace oh, for ace Polo, Polo. His first mm -hmm. ace of the game. No, 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 no. A short serve by Polo. He's in the glass. Nice defense from Polo. Just Thank short. You. Polo looking pretty frustrated out there, even though he has Dos an eight-point lead right now in game one. He don't want to lose any <laughs> point against this <laughs> young player. Polo with a nice touch. Yeah, that's got to be something kind of tough, you know, going up against a 16-year-old. What what does that feel like? I don't know, as, a, as he's a junior? Yes, well, know. I think it's uh, the, the pressure is going to be on Polo, but uh, Christian only wants to... To do a big upset this this day. Nice shot by Paulo. And now we've been mentioning this all tournament long, but the number one, number two, and number three ranking, that's Polo Gutierrez, Alex Cardona, and Jake Brennenbeck are all pretty evenly matched, although with Cardona being taken out in the quarterfinals, that's gonna affect his points and his ranking and potentially cause him to drop here after this tournament. I really think now the battle is only on Jake and Polo for a number one spot. Yeah, as long as Polo moves through to the semis, those two will continue contending for the number one spot. Nice footwork from Polo. Longoria just short. 11 serving two. <laughs> Nice flash out. Good shot by Christian. And that's going to give Christian his first point in a while here, so that makes it three serving 11. Uh, screen serve, second serve.
that's another point here for Longoria. That should be two in a row. <laughs> and for you fans watching at home, you know, our mission here at the WRT Cuatro is to grow Cuatro. racquetball, get it some more worldwide recognition. So we encourage you to share your posts with your friends. And uh, let's see if we can get some more momentum behind racquetball. Give it its comeback. It's been long deserving here in 2015. So go ahead. Get on Facebook, get on YouTube, get on Twitter and start sharing some WRT posts. Let's help the sport grow and continue gaining popularity around the world. <coughs> Here's Polo, 11 serving four. It's game one of the third quarterfinal nice. match of the 2015 Sonora Open. Polo in control here in game one. Oh, I think it's a skip shot. Nice rally for these two. Looks like Longoria skips it. That's going to give Polo another point. Tres bringing him within cuatro. two of taking this first game. Polo always try to close the match so fast. You don't want to stay so much time on the curve. Oh, it's a good shot, Christian. I think there's a lot of confidence in Christian. That's a good thing to see in a young player. And one thing we always note about well, Polo, you know, he was originally a tennis player, so that's usually an effect on his grip. And they say it's harder to read uh, Polo's oh, grip because of that. Nice serve by Christian. That's Christian's third ace here today. Kill the ball by splash up. Big side out. Oh. Short serve by Polo. He missed it. Nice chase from Polo, but mm. just misses it. Replay. Calling a screen, I guess. Or uh, no, it's only in the front, and Polo don't want don't want to hit Christian. <laughs> <laughs> Skip ball. Nice drive here by Christian. Seis sirve trece. I don't know if the referee is watching, but Christian have a uh, foot falls in his serve. Oh, I think that's been a problem for Christian in the past. Christian now on the road. Yeah, that's at least three points in a row here for Christian. Makes the score seven serving 13. Sorry, eight serving 13. Miss it. Tries that behind the back. Polo wants to close the match Tres now. Oh, he killed the ball. Big kill for Polo. That's a point. That means it's game point here for Polo Gutierrez in game one. Oh. Short serve. Not an out. Wow. Side out for Longoria. Another chance here for him to serve and stay in the game.
<laughs> now I'm guessing Polo's let Longoria get more points than he wanted. Uh, so kind of ran away with it there at 513. Short serve. Switching up the serve. Me kill the ball. All right, this will be Polo's second game point. 14 sirve 8. Still 14-8. First Juego. match for Polo. Yep, that means Polo's going to take the first game with the final score of 15-8. I think we're going to go ahead and take a break, but we have lots more racquetball for you folks to come. We're going to start out again with game two here between Longoria and Polo Gutierrez. So stick around. We'll be right back at the WRT. <laughs> Okay, we're here with Polo Gutierrez, who's going to play Christian Longoria tomorrow in the quarterfinals. But you just played one of the newest gearbox players, Mario Mercado from Bolivia. Can you talk about what you did to focus on in that game and beat him? Well, I just concentrate on do my best and choose wisely my, my shots, and da, that's it. Okay, and tomorrow you face one of the youngest players, Christian Longoria. It's rumored that he plays with no fear. So how do you feel going up against him? Exactly the same. No fear, with no fear, and have, have a lot of fun. All right, and so then as the number one seed and the rank on the WRT and coming off your recent championship at the Monterey Open, do you feel like there's a target on your back even though you're telling me you're going to play with no fear? Well, yeah, I kind of feel it, but... And just like I told you, I have, have no fear. I'm just going to play hard and have fun. And do you feel like it's your experience that gives you that kind of attitude? Yeah, um, yeah, definitely my experience. I'm not that old, but I have a, some kind of, some, some sort of experience. All right, great. Well, we look forward to the match tomorrow, and we wish you the best of luck. Thank you. Don't miss it. We're back live at the 2015 Sonora Open. We have Polo Gutierrez warming up on the court after taking game one 15-8 from Christian Longoria. These guys are ready to get started and dig into game two. The winner of this match will continue on to play the winner of our final quarter match, which will take place right after this. That'll be David Horn versus Javier Mar. So you guys don't want to miss it. We got more racquetball for you all weekend long. And as we say at the WRT, anything can happen. It looks like we're going to start out with Christian Longoria serving. See if he can make a comeback here and take game two from Polo. Any predictions, Jaime? we got Jaime Martel on the mic with me here today. Uh, I really think that Polo is going to close the match. In not easy in the second set. Now Christian starts to have a good drive serve. But I really think that match is going to close in two sets by Polo. That, uh, Walker, roll, roll rackable turn. Anything can be happen. Yeah. Quick side out for Polo. We love to hear your thoughts at home too. So hit us up on Facebook.com backslash World Racquetball. And put your wager on this match between Gutierrez and Longoria. First point for Gutierrez, 1 0. Nice serve, Apollo. Quick lead here for Apollo at 2 0, coming out strong in game two off of the momentum from his win in game one. Oh. Looks like. Cardona's going to call a replay. We have Alex Cardona as our ref. 
I think Polo is going to give it up for Longoria. Going to be a side out. It's a side out. Polo is not happy with that. <laughs> Second serve. Another point for Polo. Again, seeming in control here at the top of game two. Nice shot by Christian. Replay. Zero tres. Oh, corta. Short serve. Now you mentioned um, Jaime. That one thing to watch for, for Christian Longoria is the foot fault. Can you maybe explain what the rule is on a oh foot fault? Oh yeah, fault? it's when uh, you are in the serve oh. box and you uh, take off your uh, all your feet uh, out of the box. Both, so both feet. Uh, only have to one. Be the one. Yeah, and you uh, your both feet uh, need to be stay in the serve box, or it's going to be a foot fault. What about stepping on the line? Is that legal? Yeah, you can uh, piss the line and this uh, good serve. Oh. But you can take off all your feet, uh, it's a uh, fault. fault, yeah. <laughs> oh. Two bounces. Big wind up there for Longoria, looking for the two bounce call, but looks like Zero, it's going to be a side out for Longoria. Short serve. Nice shot, Christian. And I think that'll put the first point on the board here for Christian Longoria in game two, making the score one serving four. Uno sirve cuatro. Polo answers with the side out. Again, trying to keep Longoria's points to a minimum after game one's win 15 8. And Polo in the lead in game two. Oh, I missed the shot. The glass. Kind of got in the way there, huh? <laughs> the glass is always a problem. <laughs> There's another point for Longori, who's gaining some momentum here in game two. Short serve, follow. The lobster. And another yeah. error from Polo. Dos y cuatro. Hungary wastes no time, gets right in that service box. Like I'll get a second serve. Now in game one, Longoria had three aces and Polo won. So far, no aces yet in game two. Little frustrated again, Christian. Cuatro sirve dos. Cinco 
Cinco sirve dos. Short serve. Always in control of the match. Christian is so frustrated now. So Christian's going to take a timeout after that rally. We're going to take a listen to what Christian had to say. We spoke to him last night about his quarterfinal matchup against Polo Gutierrez, so take a look. Okay, we're here with Christian Longoria. Christian, you've been making quite a wave here in the WRT. We last saw you in the semis in Monterrey against Felipe Camacho and now against number one, Polo Gutierrez. How do you feel playing such experienced players? Are you ever intimidated? No, pues ahorita me siento muy feliz de llegar a otra cu a otro uh, cuartos de final. En Monterrey me fue muy bien y ahorita en este torneo siento que me va a ir bien. Es una gran experiencia jugar con jugadores ya profesionales que se, <risa> que se dedican, bueno, ya más a, al tour profesional y pues es una motivación, la verdad, jugar con un jugador que es más bueno que yo y que ya tiene varios años de experiencia. All right, so talk a little bit about the match that got you here to the quarterfinals. You, you beat number eight seed, Eric Sandoval. Me tocó jugar con Eric Sandoval. La verdad fue un partido muy difícil. Y pues hice, bueno, mi, mi servicio estuvo muy bien y siento que estoy jugando muy bien. Fue un partido difícil y un gran contrincante, la verdad. Okay, so who do you think has the biggest target on their back? Like, if you went to the finals, who do you want to play in the finals? I don't know. Polo. <laughs> 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 um. <No>. <laughs> All right, well, it looks like we stumped you with a question, but <laughs> we wish you the best of luck tomorrow in your quarterfinal match against Polo. Va a ser mañana un partido muy difícil y siento que le voy a echar muchas ganas. Gracias. <coughs> and we're back here at game two. Polo Gutierrez in the service box. Seis y dos. Polo in the lead here, six serving two. Skip shot. But Polo at a five point Siete advantage here dos. in game two. Nice hustle there from Christian. Wins him the side out. Dos Second serve. <laughs> Polo kills the ball. Some frustration now from Longoria. Normally he's all smiles, but he's so serious out there on the court. Now he's so frustrated. He don't know what to do now with the serve. No, 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 no. Here's an opportunity for Christian Longoria. The one thing we've been noting is how strong his drive serve is, right? Yeah, Manu? he's the uh, uh, best uh, shots that they have. He have. So, but now it's not working. Yeah, looks like he's gonna need to refocus. Three strategies. Nice Polo still looking really comfortable with a five-point lead after winning game one, 15-8. Sure, he's focused right now to close out game two and take the match and move on to the semifinals later this evening. Polo kills the ball again, the right corner. Polo totally in control of his match. Nueve points in a row here for Polo. Oh, he missed oh. shot. Again, the hustle paid off there for Christian. <laughs> Dos sirve nueve. <coughs> Cambio. Double foul by Christian Angoria. I think it's not in his Nueve match now. Interesting 
serve. Barda well talking with the glass. <laughs> yeah, that corner in the glass has been giving him some trouble here so far in this game. Oh, Cardona calls replay. What's the reasoning for that? Yeah, I think Polo, uh, he can shot, but I don't. I think it's going to be point for Christian. So we're called by Cardona. Oh. Another footfall. Be a side out for Polo. Nueve sirve dos. Short serve, second serve I follow. Skip ball. Bien sirve dos. Oh, short serve. Christian killed the ball. Oh, the ball's broken. Bad luck for Christian. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that means they'll replay the last point. Maybe. It's going to be a replay. He has a lot of power for a young player, too. I think, you know, he probably falls under that category of pretty natural racquetball player. Yeah, it's totally. He plays like, uh, like we had like five years. And he traveled with his sister and his family, so yeah, it's totally natural game for him. Oh, is his family into racquetball? Oh yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, you know, you don't know it, but <laughs> <laughs> his sister is Paola Longoria, one of the top female players, especially in, she's number one in Mexico and makes a big stir here in the LPRT. So racquetball definitely runs in the Longoria blood. Totally. Like they in got their new. It's in his blood. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got the new Gearbox black ball ready for action here in game two of our third quarterfinal match. Polo Gutierrez and Christian Longoria. Totally frustrated by Christian. Frustrated, trying to break that ball. <laughs> Scores 11 2. A serve by Polo. That's his second ace of the match. Polo now. This is Polo's chance here to run away with the win in game two. Take the match. And move on to the semifinals later this evening. Nice defense from Longoria. Always one point away for the match. This will be match point for Polo Gutierrez. Oh. Yeah, second serve. Just not yet. Second serve for Polo. Polo got the match. Well. And that's a match win here for Polo Gutierrez with the final score of 15-2. That's game one at 15-8, game two at 15-2, which means Polo Gutierrez will now move on to the semifinals later this evening, where he will face the winner of our next quarterfinal match between Javier Mar and David Bobby Horn. Uh, so Polo will move on to the semifinals tonight at 6 p.m. You don't want to miss it. I think that was another great racquetball game there for Polo and Longoria. Any final thoughts? Going to be a great match. <laughs> <laughs> Um, any predictions for our next quarterfinal? Javier Mar, Bobby Horn? It's going to be a tough match because it's a, a speed versus control. So it's going to be a very really cool match. We've had some great competitive matches here at the quarterfinals here at the 2015 Sonora Open.